Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, back again with another video. It's a beautiful freaking day. And today I got a cool video for you guys. Um, we're going to be making an electrochromic license plate. So yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so we're gonna jump straight into the things that you're gonna need to make your smart license plate. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a license plate frame. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of what kind of frame it is, um, any frame should work, All right? And in this case, I'm gonna be using my Nismo frame. The next thing you're going to need is an electrochromic film, right? Now, this is like the main piece of the puzzle. And an electrochromic film is basically a little plastic film that can change um, transparency whenever you hit it with electricity. So it can go from transparent to opaque and then opaque to transparent whenever you just hit it with the right amount of voltage and current. Now to get this film, all you have to do is go to eBay and search for electrochromic film and you're going to see several options. There are several options on there. Uh, most of them ship from China and um, they're a little pricey, but you just have to look through it and you find one that is somewhat reasonably priced. Now you want to get the size that will fit exactly into your license plate frame um, because it's a little finicky to cut this film um, if you cut it and you don't do it right you're just gonna ruin it so I wouldn't recommend cutting it at all so you have to make sure you find a size that will fit without any kind of all right the next thing we're gonna need is a second frame right now I made this frame using styrofoam um, just because it was easy but you can use wood you can use plastic anything that's obviously much more durable now the purpose of this frame is just to separate the electrochromic film and your license plate because you want there to be a little you want you want to have a little gap in between the film and your license plate in order for it to work properly right so this is just a little frame which is about it's about 15 millimeters thick and um, you can also see I have LEDs mounted in the bottom but the whole purpose is just to separate your license plate from the electrochromic film. Alright guys, so the next thing you may or may not need is a boost converter. Right now, a boost converter is a little piece of circuit that allows you to step up DC voltage. Right. So let's say you want to power something in your car that requires say 30 or 40 volts then you're gonna need a boost converter because the boost converter will take the 15 sorry will take the 12 volts from your car and then it will step it up to a higher DC voltage such as 30 or 40 or whatever you need to power that thing right now don't confuse this with an inverter though there are two different things this specifically steps up DC voltage. All right, so this is an example for you to see what exactly the boost converter does, right? So I have the converter hooked up to a power supply and the power supply is pushing out 12 volts, right? So when I measure the voltage at the input of the boost converter, you can see it says 12.2 volts, right? So the boost converter is gonna take that 12.2 volts and it will step it up to whatever voltage you want, right? So at the output of the boost converter, it's reading 53.4 volts. So basically what it did was it took the 12 and then it stepped it up to 50 volts, right? Which is pretty cool, right? <laughs> so that's basically what the boost converter does. And the reason why I said you may or may not need this is because 
certain electrochromic films require high voltage and some some can be powered with you know 12 volts as long as you feed it a lot of current now in my case i was able to power my electrochromic film just feeding it 12 volts and about 5 amps that was good enough to turn the film on right but if you feed it 12 volts and a lot of current and it still doesn't turn on then it just needs higher voltage and in that case you're gonna have to use a boost converter to step up the 12 volts that your car is pushing out and step it up to whatever voltage the electrochromic film needs all right so after you get everything that you need all you have to do is just glue everything together that, that's like literally all you have to do right so you take your electrochromic film and then you glue it on the inside of your license plate frame and then you take your second piece of frame which I made out of styrofoam and then you glue that on top of the electrochromic film and then you're done that's basically it <laughs> then you're done right so as you can see in that case I have all three things glued together and yes it definitely looks flimsy um, if you want to do this and you actually want to do this and keep it on your car um, which I am not doing um, but if you plan to do that then you definitely have to make it much more durable right instead of styrofoam you got to use some kind of plastic and you also have to find a way to seal it um, because you're gonna be pushing a lot of current through that film a lot of electricity basically and one thing we all know is that electricity and water do not mix right <laughs> I don't have to tell you what's gonna happen if you get water in there somehow so you're gonna have to have to find a way to seal it seal it up from the back to make sure no water or dust gets in there all right so I'm just showing you guys how to do it and I'm sure you can come up with you know something that looks much more nicer and much more professional right um, also what you want to do is you want to glue some LEDs um, in the back so that those LEDs can illuminate your license plate and you also want to put a switch in between um, the two wires for the electrochromic film and that will just allow you to be able to turn the film on and off just with a push of a button so there you have it you're basically done you just made your own smart license plate frame all right so everything is done and um, you can test it out before you hook it up to your car and as you can see that's my button over there that will allow me to turn the electrochromic film on and off right so when I push it you can see the film just changed it became much more transparent than it was before and you can see whatever was behind the film when I push it again it turns opaque it becomes less transparent and basically that's it right you can see me turning it on and off and you can see the film cycling going back and forth between transparent and opaque right now if the film is not transparent enough when it's on and powered then chances are that the voltage or the current is too low so if your film is not transparent enough all you just have to do is just feed it more voltage or feed it more more current and it will be a lot more transparent so um, the next part is just wiring this up in your car and all you have to do is just find a 12 volt line in your car which carries a good amount of current a lot of current and literally just find a way to get that wire all the way to your trunk and just wire it up and then you're done and that's it that's it guys you just made your own smart license plate frame
Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, uh, please make sure you like and comment. And if you're into cars, electronics, and engineering, make sure you subscribe because I have a whole bunch of other cool videos coming up. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in another one.